So we use sequencers a lot in this game and you can do really, really cool effects like this and this and this. I'm going to be showing you how to use sequencers in this game and how to be good at it. To get to sequencers, just go onto your menu down here and go to search and just SAQ. And there you find your sequencer. Basically right here, you click this button when you want to add something. So if there's a firework or some kind of water or smoke or fire thing, you press this button and then you would press on the emitter or firework. So I'm going to be using water emitters. Um, just a little example right here. We'll use this one, this one, and this one. And then why not just remove some air right here. And then I'll have some fire emitters back here. And I'll have those be right here. All right, so first, what you want to do is turn all of these off. So go here and go to default and go off and do that for all of them. Or you could have done it at the very beginning and just place them all as off already. All right, so now all of these are off. We're going to be putting some water in here because, you know, why not? So for the beginning, I'll have this one turn on and then do it again. And this one and then again and this one. So now these are the three different water emitters you can highlight over them like this, and I'll show you which one it actually is. Now, this is the time up here. You can make the time make it like this where it's super zoomed in or this where it's very, very zoomed out. I'm just going to keep it at 100. And so these are the water emitters. Basically, when you press play, it'll play all of them whenever it's this gray spot is here. So it'll turn off at two seconds. So what I want it to do is just ripple through it. So I want this one to go on and then this one to go on and then this one to go on. So to do that, I'm just going to go here. I'll do it at 0.5 and then I'll do this one at one second. So now whenever it hits this beginning, it's going to turn on the emitter and then I'll go down here. I'll make it a lot shorter. Now, right here, another feature you can do is the power. So the power is how tall and short the water goes. I'm going to put this one at 50. And then if you want this one to also be 50, you don't have to manually go here and do 50 again. All you have to do is put press this button and then press this and drag it down. And it just copied all the settings to it. It won't copy the time setting. So if this was at one and this was at two seconds, it will not copy the time. So now if I want to copy it again, we just go here and there. Now they're all at 50. All right, next up. We're going to test it. So one thing you can easily do is add a button. So just search up button and then just place it anywhere you really want to start it. And now this button, you can make it so when you press this button, it will activate this sequencer. And how to do that is you just add a trigger and press on the sequencer. And now whenever you press this button, it will activate the sequencer. So now if I press this button, it'll activate the sequencer and it'll do the sequence that we just did. So next up, we're going to do some fire effects. So same kind of concept. You just go here and then you add it to your time frame and down here do the same. And then right here, you can do the exact same thing. And now that I have all three copied, I can change the settings. I want the power to be at 200. And instead of manually doing it to all of them, I just press this button and then drag it this way. Press and drag it this way and let go. So now all of them are at 200 and two seconds. So if I play this, it'll play these first. And then the fire will come on last. If you want to play more than one, you can do easily do that by just dragging it all here. So as a little finale, we'll turn all of them on again right here. And we'll copy all these to this side. And as a finale, I do want a little bit. I want these to be at 250, which is the maximum percentage that you can have it at. And then I'm going to get the waters again. One thing you can also do. Um, if you want to remove it, you just go here, remove. But you can also, if you want to duplicate something, for example, right here, I want to duplicate the water because I don't want to press this and I have to press the water again. All I have to do is press this button right here, then press anything you want to duplicate like this water and then drag it wherever you want it to be. So right here, and then I'll have this be at max like this. And then I'll have this be at 250% as well. Whenever this things like this happen, it is because there's already this same exact sequence on here. So I already put this water emitter here. That is why I can't put it again. This is the one that I already put on here and I already have put 
The only one I haven't put right here is this first water emitter. And then I'm going to copy the settings on all of them. And now we have this little show. Let's see what it looks like. There's the fire and then all of them together at the end. So that is how to use sequencers and even buttons. If this video was helpful, please leave a like down below. And if you like content like this, help videos, park reviews, park tours, you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel. So thanks for watching and see you guys next time.